Hi, my name is Taylor Rossi. I am a flutist and photographer here in Boston, and I am super excited to be at Virtuosity Musical Instruments today talking about how to prepare for a photo shoot as a musician. Today we'll be talking about the three levels of photography for musicians, the intro level, intermediate level, and pro level. So when you're first having photos taken, before you even start the photo process, you wanna think about what you're using these photos for. So asking yourself, are these being used for headshots, for gigs? Are these being used for your website? Are these being used for posters, for a recital or performance? Or are you using them for your dating profile? It's super important to ask yourself those questions before even looking into the photographer process so that you have a clear vision of what you're looking for and you can clearly communicate that to whoever it is you're working with. So when you finally get to the part where you're looking to work with a photographer, there's some questions you can ask yourself to make the process easier and make sure that your vision matches what their style is. So just like that, you wanna make sure that whatever style you have in mind, whether it's light and airy or really dark and moody or something in the middle, like maybe something vibrant, that that photographer photographs in that style and that it's something that matches what you're looking for. So what you can do is start looking at their social media to see examples of what they've done before, go on their website to see that as well, and talking to people in your community or who are around you and ask for recommendations. I always am a fan of working with people I know or people who have come recommended to me so that you have a level of trust within that. Once you have that, then you can start asking photographers directly about their process, getting to know them a little bit and start that relationship and conversation with them. If you're having photos taken for the very first time, there's some really easy poses that you can do that will feel really comfortable, but also look memorable at the same time. So a couple of different examples and easy styles that I like to use are leaning against walls, using any kind of prop. So walls, benches, lamp posts can be really helpful especially if you're an instrumentalist, you're used to having something in your hands. And so having something else to you know, lean against or use as a prop is gonna be really helpful in making your experience more comfortable versus standing in a really open space and not knowing what to do with your hands as we often experience as instrumentalists. Once you're more comfortable having photos taken, you can do this if it is your first time and you want to kind of take that bolder step or if you have photos taken before and you're trying to spice them up a little bit, there's some options for this to kind of have more memorable photos and to give some more variety to photos you might have had in the past. One thing that I like to do is actually use examples from things outside the music industry. So looking at pictures of models who are you know, showing off jewelry or clothing or something like that and taking inspiration from that and then applying it to instrumental photos. So even one simple thing that can really spice up a photo is holding your instrument in a non-traditional way. So maybe you have a saxophone in your hand and you're kind of throwing it over your shoulder or you're holding it up high. Um, something else you can do is just playing around with different angles of your instrument in a way that you wouldn't typically hold it that is gonna be super memorable and give some variety and depth to your photos. Another way that you can incorporate more variety into your photos is actually through movement. One really great thing about photography is that you have multiple chances to take photos and you have to be willing to risk something looking really bad in order for something really good to come out of it. So one thing that you can try is actually doing movement and your photographer will just take a bunch of photos and in there will be something great. You can try turning and moving your body this way. You can run very safely with your instrument. You can use uh, clothing as an option too. So if you have a long dress or something really flowy, taking that as an option to incorporate it into your photos will make it so much more memorable and feel less static feel less basic um, and just an overall better photo. So when you're ready to take things to the next level and you have more experience and you're feeling more comfortable taking photos, what I really like to do and how you can incorporate this as an artist is actually theming your photos. So elements of this include the colors that you're wearing, the location that you're at, if there's any kind of props involved. So this could be things like disco balls or food or drinks and incorporating that into your photos to tell a story through it. 
This can be really helpful if you are releasing an album and there's a specific concept that you're trying to relay in the music and incorporating that into your photos. This can also be really great for a recital and you're again wanting to theme it towards that. So maybe you have a recital that's very water-based music. It's a lot of ocean themes or talks about rivers or things like that. Using that in your photos for it is going to really make a connection between you and your audience to tie that theme together. Um, you can also really up-level your photos, like I said, by the location, making sure that you have seen these either locations yourself or pictures on a photographer's site as examples for it so that you can really envision what it's going to look like and ensure that what you have in mind is easily conveyed to your photographer so that you're working together to create this incredible vision together. The more that you can communicate with your photographer to express the vision you're looking to share, the more helpful it will be for them. As much as they have their own vision, you always wanna make sure that you are working together as a team and it's really clear what you're trying to convey in your photos. Whether this is in your initial email to them or reaching out to them or talking to them throughout the process of the photo shoot, as long as you're communicating what you're looking to share, you should have an amazing experience and you'll have a much more memorable and fun time versus feeling really uncomfortable and sweaty, which no one wants to have during their photo shoots. What you can do is try some really simple poses that we'll show you in a uh, second. That's not what I wanted to say. Well, what was that, that, um, that documentary guy? The Ken Burns. The Ken Burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll do that. Cool. Okay, perfect. You photo nerds. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've seen that in iMovie, so <laughs> 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 that's why I know that. <laughs>